So today we're going to install Lorevel's Homestead uh, on Windows 8.1. I have cleaned up the computer a little bit, turned off the firewall, and now we are going to go to Lorevel Homestead under Docs. So it's lorevel.com slash docs slash homestead. We're going to go to installation and setup. Before we start installing Homestead, we're going to need to install VirtualBox and Vagrant. So what I'm going to do here is control click to open these in two new tabs. I'm going to download VirtualBox for uh, Windows hosts, and I'm also going to download Vagrant for Windows. Now these are both 150 some odd meg downloads each, so we're going to take a moment here and wait for them to finish downloading, and then we will install. Okay, through the magic of editing, both of these have downloaded very quickly and at the exact same time. So now let's start with installing VirtualBox first. So click on the installer, and as with any Windows installer, you're going to agree to everything and leave everything at its default locations. So keep hitting yes and next until it's done installing. Okay, once the installation is complete, it will open VirtualBox Manager for you. Uh, we're not going to really need this open right now, so we'll just go ahead and close it. Next, we're going to install Vagrant by clicking on the MSI installer. And again, agree to everything and leave everything at its defaults. Okay, looks like the Vagrant setup is complete. When you click Finish, it is going to ask you to reboot. So go ahead and reboot, and I'll see you after the reboot. Okay, so we have installed VirtualBox and we have installed Vagrant. The next thing we're going to do is run commands in the terminal. Now, Windows does not have that great of a terminal program built into it. So what we're going to do is scroll down a little ways where it talks about setting your SSH key. And underneath it, it'll say on Windows, you may install Git and use Git Bash, which we're going to need Git anyway. So let's go ahead and hit that link, which is git-scm.com then download for Windows. It will download our file, and once this 17 mag file is complete, we'll run it and install Git on our system. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and click back to the Laravel website. Okay, the uh, executable is done downloading. Let's start installing Git now. Once again, agree to everything, and let's leave everything at its default locations. So now the installation is complete. We don't need to view the release notes unless you really want to, and then click Finish. Okay, so let's scroll back up to where we left off, and now we're going to want to add our Vagrant box. So in order to do that, we're going to actually move this over here and close anything else that remains. And we're going to open up our new Git program that we installed. So I'm going to go over here and start typing Git and then it will show me git bash. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to um, my start, and then uh, I should be able to scroll over here, click it, and now we have our uh, git bash or our git terminal. So this is where we're gonna type all of our commands from here on out. It's going to emulate a bit of Linux commands so you're able to run the ls command to get a list of all the files in a directory, so on and so forth. One quick one to know that I'll be using a lot is to type the word clear, and hit enter and it will clear the buffer. Or if you have the same thing, ls, and you hit control and l, it will also clear the screen. Okay, let's type in the command here on the screen, vagrant box add Laravel slash homestead. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit enter and see what happens. Okay, so we've got a bit of an error here, and that is that it cannot access it currently, whether it's an issue within my network. Um, I've done this before on this exact machine, so I know it works, so it might be an issue with my network. In order to work around this, I'm just going to download the file manually using the curl command. So, But first, I need to find out what file I'm actually downloading. So I'm going to go over here and type in the same URL um, that is in the error message, which is the vagrant. Uh, cloud, so vagrantcloud.com slash Laravel slash homestead. Okay, and see here, if I click on the uh, versions tab, you'll see that the latest version here is point, uh, or 0.1.9. Um, so we'll click that one. 
And here is our self-hosted URL. So this is the URL that I'm going to use. Uh, and I'm going to type that in directly here for curl. OK, so we're going to run this command, which is um, the curl-o-l. So we're going to download it as a file. We're going to follow any redirects. And we're going to download from Vagrant Cloud the Laravel virtual box. OK, let's hit Enter and see what happens. OK, so we are downloading a file. And it is a very large file. So this might take a little while. So we'll just wait it out. And when it's done, we'll come back and install our box. OK, so all 750 plus megs of that box has been downloaded. So now we're going to go back to our original command that we were running before where we got the error, which uh, if we back up to the Laravel docs, we'll be able to see that here. OK, now that is the Vagrant box add Laravel. OK, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to say Vagrant box add, except I'm going to do dash H, OK? And that's going to tell us what is this command's help information. So this command, vagrant box add, we have options to flag, and then we have the name of the box, and then the URL, the path. So we have a path because we've downloaded the file. So now what we're going to do is create the Laravel homestead, but not download it. So same command as before, vagrant box add Laravel homestead, except now we're going to specify a path, which is going to be uh, the current folder that we're in now. So dot slash, and then we're going to use virtual box dot box. OK, so there's our box. And we hit Enter. And this will add our box to our Vagrant uh, file system. So it is downloading the file from the file system and creating a new box in Vagrant for us to use. OK, so now it says we have successfully added the Laravel Homestead box. All right, so the next step for us is going to clear the screen. And then we're going to clone, as it says here in the instructions, the Laravel Homestead uh, repository. So we have git installed now. So all we have to do is type in the command git clone, which is going to pull down a copy of https github.com, and then the Laravel user, and then the Homestead repository. Dot git, and we are going to name it Homestead. So go ahead and hit Enter, and it will start to clone our repository. Once it's done, you can change directory, cd, into the Homestead directory. I'm going to clear my screen and ls to list, and then dash la to show all the files in the Homestead directory. So here we have several files, and we're going to start editing the homestead.yaml file very soon. But in order to edit that file, we're going to need an IDE or some kind of editor. What we're going to use for this instance is Sublime. So let's go over to the browser and start a new tab and search for Sublime. All right, so Sublime text. And we're going to download Sublime. And we're actually going to download uh, Windows 64-bit of Sublime Text 2. Once that download's complete, go ahead and click on the installer. And of course, agree to everything and say yes. I'm going to add Explore Context Menu. That'll be helpful in the future. Hit Next, Install, and then when complete, just go ahead and click Finish. OK, so now we have Sublime installed. Let's go ahead and open that now and then open the Homestead folder inside of Sublime. All right, Sublime Text 2. I'm going to go ahead and pin it to the start and then hit Enter. OK, Sublime is now open. I'm going to maximize this and then do a Open Folder from the File Context menu. Then I'm going to go to the Users folder, which is here, Hampton, and then the Homestead folder. Go ahead and click OK. All right, so we'll close this one, maximize this one, and now we click on the homestead.yaml file. Let's tab back over to our instructions in Chrome and see what it tells us to do. It says that we're going to need to set our SSH key inside of homestead.yaml. Well, this is a fresh copy of Windows, so I don't have an SSH key. So let's jump back over to our Git terminal, clear our screen. Let's go back out one. So cd.dot, we'll go back one folder to the home folder. 
And now I'm going to say ssh hyphen keygen and then dash t rsa dash capital C and then my email, which is hampton at team treehouse. Go ahead and hit enter. It's going to generate a public private RSA key pair and then it's going to ask where to save this. I'm going to leave it in the default location, which is my home folder dot ssh and then id rsa. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm not going to use a passphrase because it is a local machine. Then I'm going to clear my screen after it is complete, which is. All right, so now that we know where our locations are, which we've just set, we're going to go back over to our Sublime instance, and we're going to enter in where our authorizations are. Well, this is pointing to our home folder, .ssh, then idrsa.pub. Well, this is the home folder. That should work. It would work on a Linux system, so perhaps it'll work in a Windows system. If not, we'll have to change that. But for now, that's good. The next section that we're going to look at is the folder mapping. In the folder mapping here, starting on line 11, we're going to say that our home folder, then a code folder in the home folder, is going to map to our Vagrant instance, so our virtual machine that we're going to create here very soon, slash Vagrant slash code. Well, I'm going to call it projects. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to projects. And then I'm going to save that file. Now here, it's going to be the same thing, uh, except now we're pointing a URL, which is homestead.app. I'm actually going to call this laurevel.dev, which is just a practice I like to do. Then we're going to take the two and we're going to map it to our Laravel installation, which we don't have yet, but we will eventually. So what I'm going to call that Laravel installation when I do install it here is going to be Laravel basics. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and control S or save this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead now and minimize this and go back to our instructions. So we've set the RSA key in our Homestead YAML file. The path should be good. We've done our shared folder. We've done the Nginx site, which is laravel.dev. We could do some bash aliases, but really we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and make sure we're using everything in the vagrant up command. So we can't run that here because if you notice by the tilde there at the end of the prompt, that says we're in the home folder. So we're going to change directory again into the homestead folder, clear our screen, all right, and now run the vagrant up command. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so it says that the host path of the shared folder is missing. So there is no home folder and project. So we need to create one. So what I'm going to do is uh, change directory back one level and then do a list of all the folders. If you notice under P, there are no projects. There's no project folder. So control L to clear. Then we're going to use the command mkdir or make directory. So mkdir, then capital P projects. Go ahead and hit enter. Now if we do an ls command, you'll see it's there just under print hood. All right, let's clear our screen again, go back or change directory into the homestead folder, and run our command again after clearing our screen. So we're going to run the vagrant up command. Hit enter, and here we go. Okay, so here's an error. The specified host network collides with a non-host only network. Okay, so what this is saying to me, if I switch back over to Sublime, if I look at this IP address, 192.168.10.10, that's the IP that we want to give to our virtual machine. Well, I'm going to go down here and right click and take a look at my network properties. Okay, so let's open Network and Sharing Center. And then we're going to find our connection and look for the IP address. So uh, in Windows, I'm going to do the change adapter settings. Okay, so here are my network connections. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. I am connected to Ethernet. So I'm going to right click and hit status. If I do status and click details, it'll show me that my IP address is 192.168.10.40. Well, let's close that, close this and go back. So 192.168.10.40, that could possibly collide. So let's just make this 192.168.100.10. So save this file, minimize it back down, clear our screen, and let's run this vagrant up command one more time. 
Now, during this process, it may prompt you a few times for some system questions. Make sure you say yes and make sure you agree. Okay, the process is complete, and the best way to check that this is working is just to go over and type into our browser 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. All right, hit enter, and you should get no input file specified. Okay, so the next step for us is to make this 127.0.0.1 actually Laravel.dev, which we have defined here. So what I'm going to do here is close Sublime Text. I'm going to reopen Sublime Text, but I'm going to open it as an administrator. So that way I can edit administrative files. So I'm going to right click here and run as administrator. Yes, I'm going to allow that. Okay, close this. And now I'm going to do file, open file. And then I'm going to go to uh, this PC, which I should be able to find C in here somewhere. There we go. And then system32 under the Windows folder. Then inside there, it will be in the drivers folder, then the Etsy folder, and then the hosts file. Okay, so let's go ahead and click open. See if I can edit it this way. 127.0.0.1, and then Laravel.dev. All right, let's find a way to save this, save file. Okay, great, we've saved the file. You can go ahead and close this. Close that, and now let's see if we can get to it by typing in Laravel.dev. Okay, so now we're getting to no input file specified with Laravel.dev colon 8000. So now we have a Laravel.dev hostname with port 8000 for Laravel's ports. The next step that we need to do is daily usage. Well, for us, the main thing we're going to do is connect via SSH. We can just simply run the command vagrant SSH. So let's clear our screen here and then run Vagrant SSH. Okay, so if you can see on the screen there, it says, Welcome to Ubuntu 14.041 uh, LTS, uh, which is long-term support, which is exactly what we wanted here. We now have a Ubuntu box installed on a virtual machine. Now, this is a terminal inside of Ubuntu. So we have shelled in to our Vagrant box. So the next step for us is going to be installing the Laravel app itself. And the way we're going to do that is with standard Laravel installation practices using Composer, which continues in the next videos.